Brought to you by the Bose A20 Aviation Headset, their most advanced pilot headset ever, and by Aspen Avionics, the most flexible and affordable glass cockpit system. Before there were light sport airplanes, there was the Great Lakes Biplane, a classic 1930s design that was very much the sport airplane of choice for its day. Hello everyone, this is Russ Niles reporting from Sun and Fun 2011, where we talked with Peter Bowers of Waco about his revival of the Great Lakes design. Well, this is the new Great Lakes uh, by Waco Classic. The, uh, the airplane is intended as a uh, sort of an entry-level tailwheel airplane um, that has full, air, full aerobatic capability is um, it's a little more affordable than our typical Waco that we produce at the factory in Battle Creek, um, but yet offering the same open cockpit uh, and thrilling experience that uh, so many people desire today. Great Lakes was originally produced actually in the 1930s, much like the Waco YMF uh, uh, 5 that we build today. Um, uh, production started and stopped a couple of times uh, up until the 1980s, uh, most recently produced in the 1970s and 80s, where at that time a lot of updates were made, including uh, adding a light combing engine, uh, cowling changes, cockpit changes, um, and other, um, other common sense changes to update the plane to the 1980s. Today we're doing the same thing, um, where we'll be adding um, uh, different engines and um, uh, making some other common sense updates. Now on the airplane, the, uh, the Lycoming AEIO uh, 360 and the IO 360, both 180 horse are approved, and those engines will continue. However, we're working with Lycoming um, to certify the uh, new engine, um, the IO and the AEIO, which will be introduced later this year, A390, which is a 210 horse uh, engine. Dimensionally about the same as the 360 series of engines, but another 30 horsepower would really be a nice boost in performance for the airplane. Of course, there'll be some strengthening um, both to, um, to accommodate the higher horsepower engines of the engine mount and frame area. Um, uh, other big changes, though, are the spar. Uh, the airplane um, produced in the 1930s and the 1970s and 80s had a, a Douglas fir spar. Uh, today, um, uh, to update uh, uh, to a little bit more modern expectations, we're uh, fitting an aluminum spar to the airplane. Um, along with that aluminum spar, we're working on a gross weight increase of another 100 pounds up to 1,900 pounds. So we have, we have a couple of engineering uh, projects in the works right now, but we're adding the resources uh, um, uh, both um, uh, with uh, uh, people and outside engineering firms to get all those, uh, those items approved for, uh, for introduction here next year. Uh, there, we have a nice website uh, set up uh, and talking about this uh, airplane specifically at wacoclassic.com or simply flywaco. Dot com. And uh, the factory is located in Battle Creek, Michigan, and you, uh, you're welcome to visit us there to, uh, to look at the progress. And, of course, on the website, we'll be posting uh, updates as well.